the spark process begins. I counted from zero to six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Take off. We're going to take off. This is the digital asset investor writing to you all and linked to has their feed, their X feed. They've been tweeting some cool things here. Is this the most helpful cryptocurrency in the world? Sending money around the world today takes days and costs a lot of money, but Ripple has a way to make it easier. XRP is a cryptocurrency that lets you send money instantly across borders. It works as a bridge between different currencies. A decentralized system and XRP are being used by Ripple to change the way banks send money more quickly and with less. Want to put your money into Ripple to help the growth of blockchain? Be an early investor in link2.com. That tech ad is pretty cool. Also, I did check and they do have today, they have some deals going on. One of them gives you 5% off. You can go look it up. I'm not sure what private equity it is or if I can say what it is. Today, something is 5% off. Okay, I guess it looks like the crypto market is getting a little stronger. BTC is now worth more than $61,000. Your XRP is up almost 5%. It's on to 60 cents in the past 24 hours. If you look at the Bitcoin things, the Bitcoin rise is about to happen in just 61,000. The magic of Bitcoin broken down four years in a row. A lot of tweets are very positive and Bitcoin is pumping hard. Here's one about XRP and on longer time scales, this squeeze of almost seven years will soon end. There is nothing else in this area that looks like this bullseye. This is partly because most of the coins here have only been around for seven years. Things will go down in history when the old guard wakes up. That's why I'm here. Everything is being pumped up because tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, will hold a live FOMC press conference. Everyone thinks that the interest rate will go down by anywhere from .25TO.75. The general opinion is that Joe Lubin's group has been celebrating how well Vitalik Budrin is doing in his speech over there. I think they're in Singapore. So I slid down and asked, has he talked about the illegal securities deal where he dumped regular Ethereum holders during his talk? I think that your net worth went down a lot, then went up and then went back down. And did that make you happy in any way? Felt better. Felt better. Yes. So right at the peak of the big bubble in December 2017, when Bitcoin hit 20,000 and ETH hit 1,400, I sent out a tweet in a series of tweets that got a lot of attention in the cryptocurrency space. In them, I basically said the cryptocurrency space has reached half a trillion dollars. Does it deserve it? Basically done like live up to the claims that the market is making about it. That's what I mean when I say not yet. And that turned out to be very true very quickly. Also, you didn't short it, did you? We now have twice as much time to act because I got the Ethereum Foundation to sell about 70,000 ETH right at the top. It was a good choice that made a big difference, but it's not short. Okay, that person is now sitting here and making a note. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, okay, yes, this guy quit retail and did all of these things. He then celebrated like he was a big deal in the business. This video is really cool. That's Charles Hoskinson, the person who made Cardano. He's also talking about adding USDC to Cardano. But some of the things he says in this video, they're very interesting and something I've never heard before. Cardano has some stablecoin projects that are made by Cardano users like USDM and USDA, but Tether and Circle are by far the biggest projects. And the Cardano Foundation has been negotiating with Circle in a tough way for a while now. They want their help to add them to our community. That's kind of the part-time job. It doesn't bother me in a philosophical way. Coin comes into your ecosystem. The stable coin ends up having a lot of power over the ecosystem if it gets too much exchange because a steady coin can't be copied. Coin A and coin B can't go together. They are backed up one to one. Since there are different opinions about which chain is right in a fork, the stable coin is the one that gets to decide. 71% of all economic. Action in Ethereum right now is either Tether or Circle. In other words, Tether and Circle will be able to decide which branch of Ethereum is the real one if they work together. It is hard for us to say that we have on-chain governance and that ADA holders are in charge and can vote on forks when a foreign actor with no stake in or connection to the ecosystem other than controlling a stable coin gets to choose which fork is the most important. How you deal with this variety. Instead of having one stable point that controls them all, you have a group of them that fight with each other so that no one has too much economic power. This is true in every market. It's easy to see this in monopolies. If there is only one person who rules the market, that person has too much power over the system and sets the prices. I'm sure a lot of people didn't understand what he just said. I didn't. Look at this. This is a strange way to put it. Word that means something. The Schwab expert used some interesting words. In the next few days, I see at least a 30% drop. 
What are you going to do? Do you want to buy some of your favorite names when the price is 10% lower? Or do you want to wait until the price is 20% lower? Which is a real correction. Yes, I mean, I would wait until we get into correction territory before buying the dip. This isn't a normal dip correction area, even though I love buying the dip. Something bigger is going on here. Will take longer to figure out, and the number may be greater than 30. Just being more careful is all we want to do. It breaks my heart to tell you this, but this is what the economic signs are telling me. What you say makes sense to me. In other words, Mark Faber came out. He told them about the 87 crash. Don't forget about him from the Gloom and Dune report. He says a lot of the same things about how the Mag 7 is gaming, and you know, when you're 30% down, what do you tell them to buy? What do you get? Our current plan is to use what we call bridge assets, which are assets that we know do well when there is a change in either economic activity or overall global finance, which keeps prices high. And to get from where we are now to where we want to be, we would look at metals like gold and silver. Those are likely to do. Well, at the very least, gold will be worth $2,600 by the end of the year. 3000 It depends on what takes place between now and then. That is why you shouldn't bet on AI right now if you really want to protect value. Instead, you should invest in goods that do that. Nicole has been using AI for a long time, but it is running into this world crash. Make money with AI. Now, this is Robin Hood. What is his name? Robin Hood in charge of everything at Robin Hood. Something that Robin Hood's general. Manager. He was with Tony from Thinking Crypto. Pay attention to this. Fight back like everyone else in the business. Is Robin Hood ready to fight the SEC in court if the case goes that far? To start, I'd say that... We were overall very disappointed when we got the world's warning. For many, many months, we talked with the SEC, and the head of the SEC told the business world to come in and sign up. We went because we really believed in it. We met with them more than 15 times and talked about how to get there. After all, our company has been controlled from the start, right? For example, Robinhood is controlled by FINRA and the SEC as a brokerage. We have licenses all over the US for crypto. With that in mind, it's hard to see how we couldn't come in sign up and make sure we had everything we needed to get there. We were very upset about this. You can't really deal with people who aren't honest. That is the issue. Right now, some very upsetting things are on dakesrp.com that we are going to talk about. It's upsetting. And then there's a big surprise. I was like, what? So let me write that down. Okay, I'm not going to say it's true, but I heard something really shocking. I'm the investor in digital assets. I am not a financial expert. This is only meant to be entertaining. Please sign up. Press the like button, tell your family and friends, let's go.